My name is Wayne Stiles. I was the co-pilot on the first rescue helicopter to reach the USS Liberty on the morning of June 9th. Uh, we had flown from the uh, USS America. When we arrived at the ship that morning, there was no place to land. The ship was so uh, destroyed that we had to hover at, at 25 feet and bring wounded up on the uh, hoist cable. So we sent a crewman down to be on deck and to make sure they got into the apparatus correctly and then we brought them up to the helicopter and they evacu evacuated them back to the USS America. While I was hovering I was watching the instruments for the pilot and also watching because the hoist was right outside of my window on the helicopter and in in the forward gun tub where there was a machine guns uh, emplacement blood was flushing back and forth in the bottom of that and I later learned from our crewman back at the America that he had been told that two or three, I don't remember which, two or three crews had been machine gunned to death trying to man that 50 caliber and fight back against the Israelis. So it was quite a shocking day for me being a little farm boy from Western Connecticut. <laughs> Uh, the bridge of the ship was completely gone. Uh, there was just holes everywhere, all over the, all over the ship. So it was it was quite a shock. And uh, we we completed our mission. And um, there was another helicopter squadron aboard, which was they had larger helicopters than us. They were the anti-submarine warfare helicopters, and they figured they could carry a lot more people per trip than we did. So they kind of took over the evacuation in the afternoon. So that's my story.